ChatGPT is taking the corporate and personal world by storm, and it has proven to be great when it comes to drafting emails. The problem is, when new or even intermediate ChatGPT users try using it in order to write their emails, they often sound fabricated and unoriginal considering everyone is using ChatGPT to write their emails now. Today, I want to show you a sequence that I have crafted for ChatGPT in order to write emails much more effectively. If you want more than these basic ChatGPT tutorials where we only scratch the surface, then consider purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course where you will go from zero to hero in ChatGPT. This course comes with 25 plus always updating ChatGPT modules and you also get access to an innovative community. And many of the members in this community are reaping the benefits of my teachings. One member of the community is saving his organization weeks and weeks of research using what he learned from the ChatGPT Mastery course. Another member of the community is even finding winning YouTube video ideas through my paradigms that I teach within this course. If this interests you at all, you can use the link in the top pinned comment or the description below in order to learn more about joining this community and getting access to the course. Now let's jump back into the video so you can save time and write better emails in ChatGPT. Now this is the prompt sequence for my email that I am writing with ChatGPT or any future emails that I will write with ChatGPT. I've left this also down in the description so if you do want to use it and follow along you can copy and paste this into your ChatGPT. Now this email consists of a lot of advanced prompting techniques but you don't really need to worry about that right now. If you want to learn more in depth you can get the course or watch some of the other ChatGPT tutorials on my channel. Now this email will help you do two things, write new emails or respond to existing emails. And I've made it in such a way that you can pick and choose what verbiage you wanna use in order for it to make sense when drafting this email. First, it's important that we start this email in this long sequence with a system function. Act as an email writing guru. Now I do have an in-depth tutorial on system functions. If you wanna watch that, you can in the upper right-hand corner. And after the system function, we jump right into the goal of the prompt. Help me write slash respond to this email to slash from my person title name. So this might seem very confusing right now, but when you break it down and I jump into it, it won't seem as bad. So after we have our goal, we can keep going down. Next, we view this input email slash mission. So this is where you are either going to paste your existing email that you want to respond to or write the mission for the email that you're trying to write. When you scroll down, the next part of the sequence is, here is my current style of emails I write. So this is where you're going to list three examples of existing emails that you have written. This is going to give ChatGPT the style of the emails you write, and it will help it better make these emails sound like you. This is very important. You don't want your emails to sound fabricated or AI generated. Otherwise, people will just start to not take you seriously. And although it may sound good from the outside, it just doesn't look that great when you're reading the email and it sounds too perfect. So you need your style of email, and that's why I provided these email example sections within this prompt sequence. But down here is where we can have a little fun and where we can kind of bend our style of email writing. I say combine my current style of email with a tone. So this is where you're actually going to be able to choose the tone of your email and how you want it written. Do you want it to be funny? Do you want it to be professional? Do you want it to be angry? Do you want it to be sad? This is where you get to mess with the email a little bit more and kind of bend the way you want your style to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draft up a new email. And since we aren't responding to anybody, ChatGPT doesn't know who this is from yet, so we can get rid of from. Help me write this email to my, and then we get into person title and name. So person title is just, how is this person related to you? Is it your mother? Is it your business partner? Is it your brother? Is it your uncle? Whatever it may be, this is where you're going to put person title. This will help ChatGPT generate a much better email with that provided context. So for this example, I'm just going to say my business partner. And then after you list your person title, then you want to give the name of the person you are talking to. So ChatGPT can use that throughout the email. This helps personalize your emails and to make them much stronger. So I'll say my business partner's name is Carter. So now we have the first line of this email sequence complete. Act as an email writing guru. Help me write this email to my business partner, Carter. And then we are going to get into the email slash mission. So if you are crafting a new email, you don't want to use this email section, but you want to type out your mission for this email. ChatGPT has no context on what you want to talk about. So you need to provide what information do I want to relay to my business partner. So in this part of the email, it's very important to be specific and provide proper context. So I've drafted this part of the email up and as you can see, I put a decent chunk of information, but if you want your email to be good or anything you generate in ChatGPT, then that is a necessary part and key element of doing things right within ChatGPT. 
So I say, in this email, I want to ask him if he wants to get together at Starbucks on West Main Street in order to discuss Q2 financials and analytics for our YouTube channel. Also, I want to mention that I am proud of his hard work in creating thumbnails and managing sponsorships. I want him to feel good about what he is doing as an incentive to keep working hard, so draft that part of the email accordingly. Also, mention in this email that the coffee is on me. As you can see, I have goals and overhead views of what I want the email to be, but I just can't draft up a good email. So ChatGPT is going to be able to put all of this together and really draw out those feelings and help me write an effective message to my business partner. So I provided a lot of context. I've provided important details where I want to meet. So this is the mission section of the crafted email sequence. When I scroll down, now we are getting into the style of the current emails I write. We don't want these emails to sound fabricated. We want it to sound like it's actually coming from myself. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find past emails that I've sent to clients and sponsorships, emails, whatever it may be. And I'm going to write down three examples of current emails that I've written. What I've done is I've surfed through my emails and I've formatted this in a way that ChatGPT can better understand it. As you can see, I put email one and then I listed out my email that I sent. Then I put email two, listed out my email I sent. Then I put email three, and once again, listed out that email I sent. I tried providing a little bit different variations within my style of email. Some of them sound a little bit more professional than others, while some of them are a little bit more easygoing. And now we get on to the last part, which is in my opinion, the best part, where we can kind of bend our styles by adding a tone. So we get into the combine my current style of email with a tone when writing this email. So now how do you want the tone of your email to be? Because the tone of your email sets the mood of the reader. How is the reader going to feel when reading your email? Well, that's what the tone is going to do. It's going to completely shift how your receiver feels when they're reading what you sent. So for this email, I want my business partner to be excited about this meeting when discussing something a little bit boring like financials and analytics. So I'm going to make sure to mention that in my tone. So I say combine my current style of email with an uplifting tone when writing this email. And later I'm going to show you how changing the tone completely affects the email just by using one word. So now, the moment of truth, we actually get to send off this email and view the results of all of our prompt crafting. I'm going to send off this message, and as you can see, the prompt is huge, but this is what makes a good prompt in ChatGPT when you are hyper-specific about your details. And as you can see, it generated this beautiful email that would be completely ready to send off to my business partner. It gives us a subject, it uses his name when it's introducing, it uses my name when signing off, it uses a line that I've used in some of those styles of emails that I've previously written, and if you do remember my instructions, I wanted my business partner to feel an incentive to keep working working hard. And it starts off the email showing my appreciation for my business partner. It says, first off, I want to address something that's been on my mind for a while now. I must say I'm genuinely impressed with the quality of work you've been putting in lately. The thumbnails you're creating are nothing short of eye-catching, and they have surely contributed to the increased viewer engagement we've been seeing. And then it goes into how I also appreciate how my business partner has been managing our sponsorships, and it, in this email basically frames it in a way where his work is not going unnoticed, and it's giving him an incentive to keep working hard, just as I asked ChatGPT to do. And it's talking in this very human-like format, as you can see. It's not talking like a robot, which is exactly what we want. It says stuff like, to get this ball rolling, you know? That sounds like something that would definitely be from a human, not from a chatbot. Now let me show you how changing the tone of this message will completely change the entire output because that one word, that uplifting tone that I had in this message will completely be thrown off if I use something of the opposite. So if you do want to edit your email a little bit, what you can do is scroll up and hit this edit button. And this will allow you to click in here and edit any information that you want while still keeping this response within a carousel that you can come back to later. So let's say I want to change the tone of this email to something of the opposite. I'm going to say with a depressing tone. So now we have combined my current style of email with a depressing tone when writing this email. Now I'm going to hit save and submit. And if you want to, you can use these two arrows up here in order to cycle through all of your responses after hitting that edit button. And as you can see, now the dynamic is completely different. I'm writing to suggest a little sit down at our familiar spot, Starbucks on West Main Street. I believe a face-to-face -face conversation could provide us a better opportunity to go over the quarter two financials and analytics for our YouTube channel. A tangible atmosphere does add a certain gravity to matters, don't you think? So this email is already not as upbeat it's sad, it's depressing, and, and it's still trying to make him feel good throughout this email, as I mentioned in the instructions above the tone, but the whole framework of this email, there's no exclamation points, there's no excitement, it's all business, and I sound like a sad, 
tortured business owner. Then for the signing offline, it says, take care and hang in there. You know, it's just kind of depressing. It's like, do I really want to go over these quarter two financials? So this has been how to write effective emails within ChatGPT. If you want to go a bit deeper, then consider purchasing my course and joining the community with ChatGPT innovators using the link in the description or the top pinned comment. Members are loving it and they're already applying it to their work and personal life, so I highly suggest that you do too. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.